My name's Jock Paluter. I'm with the outreach uh, program for Indiana soccer and Indiana futsal. Uh, the latter is what uh, brings me and Justin Bate up here uh, to Wawasee High School in uh, Kosciuszko County. Uh, we've worked with uh, Kosciuszko County Community Foundation uh, to get a community grant to help pay for uh, futsal goals and futsal balls to implement our futsal for all program uh, into the school systems up here in uh, Kosciuszko County, starting with Wawasee Community Schools. So this is just the latest installment of the program we're bringing to schools uh, across the state. Uh, we're currently at about 130 kids served in uh, elementary, middle, and high schools in every nook and cranny of Indiana. Uh, but we are just scratching the surface of trying to get futsal implemented into the PE classes uh, at every school in the state. We're fortunate enough to work with eight uh, teachers, PE teachers from uh, across the Wawasee Community Schools District. Uh, I think it was five elementary school teachers, two middle school teachers, and uh, one high school teacher. Uh, and they gave us 10 of their uh, students to work with, uh, high schoolers who are uh, thankfully didn't need much education on the futsal front. They're already pretty sharp players. Uh, knew the rules of the games, the ins and outs. So it was easy uh, to almost just roll a ball out for them to, uh, to play. And therefore, while they're playing, we're stopping, starting, helping the teachers who might not be 100% uh, up to speed on the rules of the game kind of as we go along. You know, first we typically come in, we'll uh, give a little introduction to the sport, uh, go over some of the most basic rules uh, before we break into a couple drills that teachers can do uh, with their students in PE class. Uh, we talk about how they can adapt those for uh, kids from you know, age 5 to 18 uh, so that they're taking away skills they can immediately develop into their classrooms uh, and, and uh, just get the game rolling and introduce it to, uh, to every kid. Uh, in school, not just those who are soccer players or, or you know, know about futsal. So the first step in getting futsal for all into um, communities across the state is, is typically finding a champion uh, in those communities. And uh, we found that here in uh, Wawasee with uh, Jordan Sharp. Uh, talk a little bit about yourself and what your uh, you know, roles are in the soccer community up here and just how you uh, are helping grow the sport in uh, Kosciuszko County. There you go. Thanks so much for uh, for having me and for having us and for your time up here and um, all the cool equipment um, for helping us out. Um, so like I said, I'm Jordan Sharp. I've been up here at Wallace for 10 years and I've been pretty much uh, growing up in the area. I went to grew up in Warsaw, played college, college soccer, Grace, uh, Grace College, and I've uh, been here ever since. And uh, at least in our community, it's hard to get kids to go out and do club soccer. And so we're just trying to do anything and everything we can to grow soccer in the area and in the community because we know how great it is of an impact on these kids' lives um, and as far as, you know, keeping them athletic and all those things. Um, so just basically doing anything we can and fortunate enough to have you guys up here to uh, help help us do that um, with getting goals into all the schools um, and helping the kids have another opportunity to play. Play, um, to um, you know, work on their craft and become the best players they can be. But talk a little bit about what futsal uh, has done uh, to help your players uh, get better, not just on the hard surface here sure. for futsal, but uh, how it translates to, to helping them improve their soccer skills. Yep. Yeah, so futsal we do every off season um, when we have the openings for high school. We play twice a week in the mornings um, and just getting that, those boys the opportunity to have more. I mean, when you're playing futsal, there's less people, so they're getting more touches on the ball, more time on the ball. Um, they're getting a better workout. They're getting more training, and they're building their confidence. And that's things like I tell them when we're training is, you know, work on taking these people on, move that ball quicker. Um, and the ball with futsal gives you a little bit more success than an outdoor ball, so you're more able to do those things. So it will better translate to when you're playing, you know, on the outdoor the outdoor field, um, you know, where you can have the bigger competitions or whatever. Um, and so, and I've even had some of my guys go and play in some futsal leagues around the area, and I hear their parents telling me, like, man, they're getting so much better from playing futsal. And the boys will even say, foot skills are just developing a lot, you know, from playing futsal. And so I feel like it's almost maybe the, sometimes maybe, Maybe it feels like the grind, but I almost feel like boys almost look like look forward to playing indoor more than outdoor sometimes, just because it's fun and they get better um, and they like the competition um, and uh, and all those things. Uh, you are the Wawasee uh, 
men's soccer coach, but you're also the PE teacher here at Wallace mm-hmm. High School. So we talked about what the sport could do for those players who you know are interested in building their soccer skills. What does the sport do for those kids, you know, who are in here in class daily? Yep. What does the futsal do to kind of improve the offerings in your uh, PE classes? And, and how do you find uh, that maybe not the, the kids who aren't the biggest soccer players take to? Sure. Sure. Yeah. So in the PE classroom where we are here, I, I'm mainly with freshman PE. And here at Wawasi, we don't get a ton of soccer players coming out for the team. So number one, having futsal in the gym would get kids excited about playing soccer and hopefully get them to come out to play the sport where we know when they're playing high school sports, they're going to be excel in other things in life and help them grow as people. Um, and you know, all those things that we want these kids to have. Um, so having the opportunity for them to play in the gym, um, would build their confidence there, but then also have some, them give them something to look forward to help to hopefully keep them out of trouble, give them something to look forward to things like that. Um, and if, if not that, at least it's another thing to have to do indoor during the winter months when the winter months can be frustrating um, and uh, things like that. And so having the opportunity to, uh, to do that will be, uh, will be huge. So we're ending our time up here at Wawasee High School today, uh, asking everyone what they took away from today's Futsal for All course. And we'll start with uh, some of the middle school teachers here, I believe. Uh, talk about maybe just one thing you took away from today's session. Uh, I like the one drill where you uh, showed the race cars. It, granted, it was high school boys doing this. But it just goes to show that even though it's geared at younger kids to do that drill, everyone still has fun doing it. So it was kind of fun to see you guys struggling with that, too. So, But no, it's it's good to observe and then be like, OK, how can I apply this to age appropriate for this and that? So it, I enjoy seeing an actual drill. So appreciate it. Um, my takeaways uh, from today were kind of uh, more kid wrangling ideas, um, what to do for the, for more of the littles, um, how to get them involved, and more of the uh, visuals of of how to use the the markings on the courts already to to serve the purposes that we need. That was that was a big takeaway for me. Such a huge part of what we do is teaching adaptable drills. We're you know trying to bring the sport to everyone from K through 12, obviously different learning curves, different obstacles to overcome uh, at each you know level of school. So we're glad you guys are able to take away those those teachings today and learn from these guys what you may be able to, to scale down a little bit for the middle school kids. So we'll go to these guys. Take What have you learned from uh, playing futsal either, uh, you know, in a setting like this in PE classes or um, in your time in leagues uh, around the uh, the lakes area up here? It's it's gonna it's a lot smaller so it's like you you have to keep control like she said the race car it was it i think we need to practice that more <laughs> personally but less yellow flags yeah. is what you need um and it's hard to control the ball because it's always sliding everywhere and it just teaches everyone how to play the game and you uh, not only like the speed of play more of like controlling the ball and shielding the ball like my footwork has gotten so much better just from playing in leagues, not just like drills, just the speed of play and like keeping the ball by the side. And you've been playing for two years. Claims he could score off a corner kick in futsal, which is like the the Olympico times ten. Uh, and Jordan, maybe one more takeaway you took away from uh, today's course. Yeah, again, just uh, trying to get um, all the PE teachers the opportunity to see how we can get more of this in our community is uh, is really what we're after. And just, uh, again, having more kids getting to be involved with soccer because we know it's such a positive experience for so many kids um, and just hoping to grow the sport. And so uh, and, and, well, having, having fun while doing it. So appreciate you guys' time. We appreciate the time and interest. If you are interested in getting futsal into your schools, we suggest you uh, get in touch with Justin Bate. Uh, futsal, the director of Indiana Futsal with us, Justin at SoccerIndiana.org is his email address. You can find all the information necessary. I just want to give a shout out to Indiana Soccer and Indiana Futsal. Thanks for making a difference um, in kids' lives and in communities' lives. It's giving kids a positive place to uh, express themselves, to make new friends, to do big things, um, and just a chance to, to be a kid and to do uh, awesome things in the sport of soccer. So thank you for your time and all you do. Yeah.